Hello students, in this video let us see the, about the magneto-optical storage devices. So as I told you in the previous video, magneto-optical storage devices uses both the advantages of magnetic disks and optical disks. So its intention was to eliminate the disadvantage of both the disks and uh, make the advantages as a uh, you know thing for this a new kind of uh, storage devices so it includes basic principles of both magnetic and optical storage systems so to write anything on this it uses the magnetic disk you know um, system or the rules and uh, to read it uses the technique of an optical disk so basically it is a plastic or glass disc coated with the compound so technically this is a ternary alloy of terium ferric cobalt with the special properties so the thing is these materials are easily oxidized oxidized in the sense when it is exposed to oxygen or you know the na natural air the physical properties change okay that is uh, physical or the, you know the chemical property of this changes so it is coated with such a material it is dielectric uh, there is a dielectric barrier layers that used to protect the MO layer that is magnet optical disc which is actually you know uh, layered with this uh, coat or the compound and to prevent that oxidation with the environment this dielectric barrier layers are used that is you can say so that the electrical field does not affect this so in order for that purpose there one coat one two more coats are have uh, you know applied that is above and below this uh, uh, layer okay so the barrier together with together with the reflector coating acts as an optical signal enhancement that is when an optical signal falls into this so it actually enhances its uh, uh, you know the reading or whatever the information is stored that is enhanced and hence it is read or the binary values that which are stored in this can be easily read so this is what the layers looks like so this is a lacquer coating and this is the reflective layer as I told you this is the barrier 2 MO layer and the barrier 1 okay so that is a uh, MO layer is a uh, mount between the barrier 1 and barrier 2 and upon that there is a reflective layer so that you know information whatever it is it um, you know based on the information present there it is reflecting and there is one more the lacquer coating for this uh, disc and uh, see this is uh, you know the laser beam how it is passed uh, this is the land and the groove what was there in, uh, in your uh, disc on like you know the op uh, magnetic disc and the substrate so actually a small material which of which this is made up of magneto optical disc so to speak broadly about this it is a thin film structure that gives the format its unlimited rewritable is based on a mo alloy layer enveloped by a barrier layer on which I, that that is what i said you in the picture and they are available in two formats that is 5 1 fourth inch and 3 and half inch so under the pressure of inexpensive and re relatively fast CDR and CRW that is a CD recordable and rewritable MO drives seem to be losing ground that is the popularity is becoming less because of this uh, magneto optical disc that is the optical discs are having much advantage and are more popular compared to this so how if you technically see how this thing is happening see this is the magnetic domains that is you know the magnetic uh, there are you um, a spaces where the lit, uh, layer or the laser light rays are reflected in a different format for example as I told you this is a um, coated that is a magnetic or the coated disc it is so whenever the laser beam falls on this 
see this is the point where the laser light falls and if it finds a magnetic material on this disc okay the place where it, the laser is falling the rotation polarity is uh, changed that is see if a, there is a layer especially if you say it is a laser layer you uh, you might know sorry laser light you might know that light falls and just it goes back in the same direction like for, for example angle of incident is same equal to angle of a reflection that is in what angle the laser touches this disc in the same angle it also you know gets out of that disc but here what happens the laser beam whatever is falling in one direction spe especially the angle it's falling it changes is you know rot uh, uh, rotation or the rotation of the polarity that is if it has come and just move like this what it it have it falls here it just turns a little bit and then passes okay so the reflected beam looks something like this and there are you know um, senses that actually senses whatever is present in the this this is how the uh, technique or the working you can say of a basics uh, basics of mo reading so to speak broadly about this traditional magnetic recording system uses currents induced magnetic heads or changing magnetic fluxes on the disk surfaces to read the data that is actually it is having the magnetic coat or the uh, the compound that we have talked about in the last slide so that helps in you know reading the information or just uh, uh, keeping the information within it or uh, you can say the recording of the information on the surface so magnet optical systems use polarized light to read the data from the disk it is not just a plain laser light it is a polarized light that is the, these lights when fall upon the surface and just comes back they change the direction of rotation or uh, usually it is just you know the angle is same in what direction they fall in the same direction they go back but in this case it rotates to some extent and then goes back okay that is uh, about a polarized light next uh, the changes in this light when it passes through the uh, you know that magnetic disc uh, or the magnet optical disc uh, and when the changes in this polarized light occurs because of the magnetic field on the surface of the disc this effect we call it as a Kerr effect because of the polarity the reflect light is altered depending on the orientation of the magnetic particles that is that which is where it is coated okay and if the beam of the polarized light is shined on the surface the light polarization of the reflected beam will change slightly otherwise what happened whatever it is there in the same way it is a put back or a sent back so if the magnetization is reversed that is you know if it it could be like you know positively charged space for example or either it could be a negatively charged space if this happens that is when the magnetization is reversed so polarization change also it gets reversed in the same way okay and magnetic areas um, that pits cannot be seen in regular light on this uh, magnetized areas only in the polarized light uh, this can be seen and changes in the directions of the magnet signi magnetism signifies the zeros and one that is useful for the digital storage or the binary storage so how actually this uh, mo works or how actually the reading or recording takes place in this so around 200 degree celsius every magnetic material loses magnetization you might have heard in your you know uh, high school classes if you have you know just uh, given a very thorough focus on the magnetism and uh, iron and all those things they lose their property when the temperature increases okay so here also when it reaches around 200 degree celsius the magnetization is lost okay that is the magnet does not behave in the magnetic way when the temperature increases here the layer that you are coated the plastic is some is related to this uh, magnets that it's a magnetic kind of layer so it uh, changes its uh, you know order or complete disordering happens and if this happens whatever is stored in it it is erased okay and uh, materials co 
is the reason for the material resistance to magnetization by the applied magnetic field decreases as the temperature approaches the curie point and reaches zero when the temperature is exceeded so uh, technically they are saying that if the resistance to magnetization by the applied magnetic field decreases in case whatever the magnetic layer is present you are putting some external magnetic force into it and it cannot fight against that then what happens the uh, it is a it reaches zero okay and this can be done how by increasing the temperature if this is done again that the property is lost by this mo that is magneto optical disc you can say and it drops at higher temperature as i told you as the temperature increases it loses coercivity and uh, allows thermally assisted magnetic recording with relatively weak magnetic fields that weak magnetic fields that is uh, if at all the proper amount of magnetic field is not present so whatever the information you stored in this will be tend to lost or uh, it may not be the proper one or a genuine one so see this is how it looks like see this is the disc label and you know moving the media this is the magnetic field this is the lens this is the laser beam see laser beam is put okay and uh, when the magnet is passed through this see this is actually let us say originally how the magnetic field on the disc is arranged okay let us say this is somewhere it's pointing upward and it is uniform and whenever a magnet is brought to this okay what happens these charges whatever they are st stood in the same direction they change their direction and this can be seen through the lens so whatever the changes is happening it can be seen through the lens and desired commands or the processes is a made or a sent to the lens information is sent back and whatever the required things are there they are made and see this is a magnet and you can say mag every magnet has its mag own magnetic field so because of this property of a magnet this things uh, happen so recording layer is heated by the laser to point where a magnetic orientation orientation is a uh, dissipate dissipated and uh, so at this spot on the disc cools the new magnetic orientation corresponding to new information that is once you have stored something on this disc and you want to something uh, that is not at already in the disc and you want to remove something is present what that is present in the disc then what you do you actually um put a new magnetic orientation corresponding to the magnetic head that you want that is 0 and 1 that is you are simply rewriting the data on the disk and it is necessary that you erase all the previous signal before data can be recorded so usually for this purpose two lasers are used that is one is to erase and one is to record or a single laser can be first used to erase in uh, one orientation and the next time it can just actually write the data whatever is needed so the next one is the universal serial bus this is all we are uh, aware of right usb that is popularly called as so it was developed by intel and uh, set of connect this is usb why do we call it as this it is nothing but it is a set of connectivities okay and this is you know common for the universe like every uh, you know um, ac accessories that is built is given with this you know option so that it there can be an uniform um, like you know plugins for every device so that you can use any of the these device through these uh, plugs or port okay usb port so every computer and usb uh, and laptop has this usb ports and they all come with the USB connector that is again con connected to the USB port on the computer. So as soon as you connect it, say rest of the accessories usually require a setup or you can say it's like you know um, you need to have the software for running that information whatever is there. 
and also sometimes you need to restart the computer but with the usb you don't have to do this because whatever the information is required for the setup is present in the usb itself so every time you just plug in it the program gets installed and you just need to work on it so this is how it looks like and this is a usb connector okay and this is present in even in the pen drive see this is actually the pen drive and this is the usb connect for that uh, pen drive and the symbol used is this one as you can see on all you are aware of pen drive everybody each one of you know what a pen drive is right it is how it looks and what are its uses so uh, technically saying it's a removable storage device you all know it is a portable one we just uh, you know uh, take it from one place to another then actually it's nowadays very much used rather than any other uh, mode of st secondary storage or a portable storage uh, you know for, to store any audio video anything on the computer and to share it with some other system in an offline man like on no it's not online like you just copy it and you can share it with the other system so it consists of a small printed circuit board which is fitted inside a plastic metal or a rubber casing to protect it and a usb connector is present at one end of the pen drive it is protected either by a removable cap or pulling it back in the casing you have seen types of uh, um, usbs available right there are so many types in this so one of the thing is like either you can have a cap to it or you can just pull it back to it it's a case and usb is it's a given here as a 1 and 1 to 32 gb but it's available up to again 128 gb and it's a fast robust reliable portable consumes very less power and no battery required you know pen drive doesn't have a battery right it takes the you know charge from uh, or uh, you know whatever the charge or the electricity is required or the voltage is required it's taken from the system itself so no battery you just have to you know very portable and comes very handy so this is how an external hard disk looks like you might have all seen um it's similar to your pen drive like technically if you say but it the sp storage space available in this is very 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 high that is if a pen drive is almost about 128 uh, gb available space uh, then you can uh, hard disk can be of 1 tb terabyte i have told you you know so it's a uh, like you know very large system to save information so again it's used in the outside like your pen drive itself and connected to usb so here it is given as 20 gb but nowadays you have at around see several tbs and to 2GB, uh, 2 TB pen uh, hard drives are also available external hard disks are also available and it is compatible with any operating system such as uh, you know us msc that is mass storage class and ieee standards it you know with just these um, specifications you can just operate this thing and it's reliable as high capacity storage media the space available is so much and it's reliable it's portable plug and play feature that is you just have to you know uh, put the usb and just open in the system no installation nothing is required and as well as the hard disk is connected to the system via usb it is ready for transferring data so usually mainly it is used for the backup data that is if you want something information other than in your system you just kept it's kept for the as a backup and one more very familiar thing is the memory stick memory stick or memory card it is generally called as a uh, and you know it is again portable specially used in mobile phones digital cameras you know to store the you know picture that is actually um, you know that uh, that is removed by then and it could be transferred to your system and edited whatever it is you can do with that it's launch, launched by sony and immediately gained popularity due to support for fast data transfer speed and large storage capacity because it's a very tiny small thing which has around the capacity of even 32 to 64 gbs right uh, even 128 gb memory cards are available so uh, it's you know kind of handy and um, it's very useful even the smallest memory card can store about 80 images and uh, that is again more than that was for half floppy disk that was available and uh, it simply can be you know put and just taken back you know just put into the player or the 
device or the portable device where it could be you know accessed and just then it could be taken back so these are the types we have mini sd card sd card memory stick pro memory stick pro do you we'll see some of the features of this so this is how it looks like well, even though it looks like the same there are a few differences at least technically and types of uh, sticks are a memory stick pro pro um, do pro do pro hg do and a stick micro m2 so if we talk about my memory stick pro which was in, uh, introduced in 2003 by sony and sandisk theoretical storage up to 32 gb why it's theoretical because 32 gb hole is not available you might have seen it's around around 28 29 gb so that is why theoretical but technically we say yes 32 because the rest of the in, uh, storage is used space is used for storing the information or the, the data of you know actually uh, mounting with the system you know it's not just necessary it's not enough if you just physically join the device like um, through the software also system should be you know, attached so that is it and it provides 4 bit parallel interface with the theoretical transfer rate of up to 480 mbps and used in megapixel cameras and camcorders so memory stick do is used for mobile phones music players digital cameras etc so it could encrypt the data and store on the memory card smile size is small but it costs more because of the technology it uses memory stick pro duo is uh, supersedes the memory of a transfer it of a stick duo it's like you know kind of advanced version of your st stick duo memory stick duo and provides a larger memory space up to 30 gb and high speed data transfer from the card so HD Duo is a 8-bit parallel interface, clock frequency of 60 megahertz, and uh, it provides high transfer rate for uh, data memory than the Memory Stick Pro Duo. Memory Stick Micro M2, it is light, compact storage media dimension is 15 mm, 12.5 mm, 1.2 mm. It's mainly used for mobile devices, and others may range up to 16 MB to 32 GB. Again, now it's available with the 64 GB and higher and transfer rate is 160 mbps so when we are seeing all these storage devices these are the tiny ones or you know at least it is used one or two in a device not more than that is actually mounted on a device but there are you know these storage devices which can be used in the combination of so many and literally leading to the storage capacity of infinity okay only the thing is system should support those uh, memory spaces or the memory disks only then you can say it is a uh, useful or it can be used so in order to have a large memory you know devices compared to even though cds dvds are you know improved versions of the storage devices when you want a very huge large amount of data for example something about uh, you know every student's uh, pu marks it's a whole karnataka at least you know people who are writing under karnataka state board so it's a whole lot of information and you can just can't just use uh, you know very small tiny things or it could it, it, even a uh, just cpu of a system is not that you know sufficient to store so what we do when we know the things that we need to store are very much higher we can use the combination of this for example using magnetic disks in a combination using optical disks in a combination and we can make them work together so the process of you know uh, writing to this systems also increases also reading from this information also from this system also increases um, so multiple units of similar kinds of storage media are used so they may include magnetic tape reels or cartridges multiple layers of magnetic disk multiple cd rooms etc so mainly there are three types that is redundant area of inexpensive disk automated tape library and cd rom jukebox we'll see just them one by one so in raid the idea is to combine the multiple hard disk okay and if one hard disk and uh, to obtain a high performance larger capacity reliability and reliability is one more you can't have a system that actually you know goes off every now and or a you know memory part or the storage device that goes every now off now and then 
so that should be reliable and disk array maybe can be made a fault tolerant by using several techniques like raid 0 raid 1 raid 2 up to raid 6 okay so that is the next is automated tape library uh, when you say the tape it means the magnetic tapes and uh, their controls are put in a single unit and it connects uh, more than you know one tape drives to read and write the information to the tape library and uh, they can be simultaneously read and written so the data transfer rate will be higher and its uh, reliability is increased that is if one system or the one disk goes wrong you can just continue doing with the other disks so there is no you know constraint and these tape libraries can store up to several terabytes it's not simply you know in gbs it's in terabytes so it's you know used for uh, you know where the information you need is a very very you know large or huge data you can use this so this looks somewhat like this automated tape library this is the robot track that is this arm moves in this direction okay so these are the tape cartridges that is every individual individual tapes okay one tape two tape three four so it's arranged like this and this is the robot that is whatever the information you want to read let us say some system from this so this arm should move till here okay and it has to adjust to the height of this tape and then read the information on this so this is how uh, you know physically this looks like next is the cd rom jukebox jukebox you might have heard in some of the at least music channels so technically they mean that all the cds are like you know heaped up and any information you want you just can uh, put the cd and just uh, listen to it it's like that so it comprises of a numerous sets of cd rom discs along with the drivers controller mounted everything and it consists of cd rom drives like more than one what happens that it's like you know um a huge heap of cd roms and for each one there is a read or write operation or there is a arm so that performs a read or write operations on the cd rom and it can be simultaneously read and written that is in one side you can write and one side you can read and um, since because of the multiple drives the reliability increases that is if one goes something wrong then the other can be used so it's easy so this is how it looks like see these are the cds and these are the heads that are present whatever the information is there you can just you know move till here the arm can move till here and the information whatever is there it's read so that completes this chapter Thank you.